Hello, how's everybody? So I just want to say that I believe time is more important, important than money, and I want to thank you all for your time. So um, my name is Hunter. This was, that's actually my phone number, so that will be useful later. That's actually supposed to come at the end, but that's all good. Um, I give out my phone number because I want people to be connected to me. I think we've lost you know, this idea of like calling people or texting people, and we get so caught up in our lives. So um, will everyone stand up really quick? So I'm gonna talk about sleep, and I'm gonna talk about dreams, but this isn't a talk, this is more of a town hall. So this is not my talk, this is our talk. So sit down last night if you did not sleep. And then if you had one hour of sleep, sit down, two hours, three hours of sleep, four hours, five hours of sleep, six hours. Okay, so we're losing a lot of people. So a percentage of you that are sitting down right now uh, have a genetic mutation, which means you do not need to get um, that amount of sleep. Um, but in others of you, um, you need to sleep some more. So uh, seven hours, eight hours, nine hours. And is anyone still standing? <laughs> 10? <laughs> Excellent. OK, so I'm going to show you a video that we've put together last year for this project called Shadow. We want to create the world's largest stream database. And then um, we're going to pass around some microphones, and we can ask any questions. So get your questions ready, and uh, we'll go from there. Charles, whenever you're ready, thank you so much. Hello, my name is Hunter, and I want to thank you for checking out our page. We're proposing to create the largest dream database in the world, and we need your help. I've always been blown away by the concept of dreaming, the idea that for one third of our lives, our bodies are suspended and our unconscious minds are free from the limits of reality. Sadly, about 95% of all dreams fade away before you even leave the bed. Now imagine a world where we can create a space for dreams to self-organize and give us real information about our consciousness. You know, that, that voice in your head that lets you know you exist. We've created Shadow as a way to participate and accelerate evolution. We're going to pick up where Freud and Jung left off and leverage the 50 plus years of innovation that's put rovers on Mars and supercomputers in our pockets. We will start with a mobile application that helps you remember and record your dreams. Shadow uses an escalated alarm to gradually pull you through your hypnopompic sleep state and is ready to record when you shut off the alarm. Now you can speak or text your dream into the application. If you do audio, we'll transcribe it into text and we'll pull out the keywords. From there, we'll push the dream to a big data cloud so we can anonymously organize the global data to identify major themes and trends. True comprehension comes when the dots are revealed and we see the big picture. Now the Japanese sleep the least, but do they dream the least? Or what do women in Moscow dream about? Or what do kids in Sao Paulo dream about? We feel this is a huge data set that's literally being forgotten every night. So here's where you come in. We've taken Shadow as far as we can on our own, and we need your help to explode it out of our heads and into the real world. You can donate to iOS, Android, or Windows. And when we reach our funding goal, whichever device has the most donations, we'll start building that one first. If we're successful with this project, we'll forever change the course of human history. And remember, it wasn't too long ago that the majority of the population thought the world was flat. So this idea is bigger than any one of us alone, and we need your help to pull the future forward and make Shadow possible. And I leave you with this final thought, and it's a quote from John Lennon, and what he says is, a dream we dream alone is only a dream. A dream we dream together can be a reality. So thank you very much. If, looking at it from another world, we push technology to its furthest possible development, and we had, instead of a dial telephone on one's desk, a more complex system of buttons. And one touch would give you anything you wanted. Again, I'm so honored to be here, so thank you guys for your time. Um, so if anyone has questions, we can start uh, with the questions. Just raise your hand, and I think someone will come around with a microphone. So the way that I'm going to do this, uh, we have like about six minutes left. We're going to just take as many questions as we can, and I'll try and answer as many questions as can we can. Go ahead. Hi. I'm curious about the name Shadow. What? Oh, sure. Um, what is your name? My name is Maureen Egan. Hey, Maureen. Thank you. Um, so Shadow, 
uh, came from Carl Jung, and Carl Jung had this concept called shadow theory, and he said that we project parts of ourselves onto other people, but we don't see them because they're hidden in our shadow. So shadow was really this concept to, instead of projecting that stuff onto someone else, project that into an application, project that into uh, a non-animate device that can start to organize all that data and start to give you real information about yourself, help you understand yourself. So it's really from Jung, who I think is, was an amazing psychologist. Could you, or could you say your name so then um, other people can ask you later if they want to continue the conversation? My name's Holly. Hey, Holly. Hi. Um, what analytical tools are you using to take the keywords and, and how does it work exactly? Yeah, so we're, um, you can speak or text or dream the application. If you do the audio, we're using natural or speech to text translation. So we're using Nuance, which is the same um, company that powers Siri. And so we can uh, do speech to text in 80 languages. And so from there, we're pulling out the keywords using natural language processing. And then we're using name entity recognition and disambiguation to then start to cluster different entity types together. Um, we, can, we can go more in depth later. If, if you like yes. Hi, uh, this is Mark. Um, why is it that we can't remember many of our dreams or we, we kind of go through phases where we seem to, or I, at least I do, yeah. remember dreams for a while and then certain periods I can't? Yeah, so I, I, I can answer that in a couple ways. Um, different emotional things that happen in your life peak dreaming and don't, and then I think it's um, about being conscious and aware. So it's like uh, doing yoga. If you'd never done that much yoga, you wouldn't be really good at it the first time, but if you continue to do it, you just get better over practice. The other way I'll answer that is, so when we dream, we're essentially, our, our prefrontal cortex is shut down and we're dreaming from the limbic system, the limbic part of our brain, and actually um, a shot of ditryptomethylene gets shot into your brain. So we're essentially hallucinating from our limbic system, our lizard brain, um, and when we're coming out, which is called your hypnopompic sleep state, um, you know, you have a very short window to record the dream before it's gone forever. Yes? Whoever wants to go. Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Um, will you be able to access an archive of your own dreams and dreams and export them? Yeah, so, so for us it's about the dreams that you have and the dreams that everyone else has and then the dreams that everyone else has and how does that relate to you. So we want to create a tool for you to look at the short and long-term dream patterns that you're, that you're having. And so we could say, oh, every Tuesday you dream about your mother, every time you eat um, red meat after 9 p.m., uh, you have this dream, um, or when you walk 10,000 steps, you fall asleep faster. So we want to be able to provide that data to everyone, especially for yourself. Like, we want this to be a tool for people to understand themselves more. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Harper. Hi. Um, so what are you learning? What are, like, some patterns globally? Yeah, I am. Um... What are women in Moscow really dreaming about? <laughs> Well, so there's a, <laughs> I, what, what I learned, so I, I came, uh, I was working 12 years pretty aggressively in fashion industry. I was not sleeping, maybe three to five hours a night. I would, did not have the gen, genetic mutation. Uh, so I was really kind of burning the candle, like, at all, both ends. Um, what I learned about myself when, when I actually took some time off and was able to get proper sleep and was able to start dreaming, um, I learned that I dream a lot about my mother, which is, which is really nice, and I, I, have gotten to a point where I can start to lucid dream. So the, the lucid dreaming is being able to um, kind of control your dream so you wake up your prefrontal cortex while you're sleeping and then you're kind of setting the stage for your dream. Um, we see a lot of patterns from the media in, in, in our dream feed. So when Robin Williams passed away, we started seeing that. When ISIS happened, we started seeing that. When Ebola happens, we start to see that. This is really interesting because we also want to say like, well, Oh, how does the media affect the dreams and vice versa? Like, are we actually pre-dreaming certain future events or how much uh, effect does the media have on what people are dreaming about? This is a great question. Yes? Um, <clears throat> sorry, my name is Randy. I have a question. When you're inputting your dream information, yeah. you're, say you're pulling keywords uh -huh. of hope, uh, these kind of things. So much of a dream, it, there's still so much going on in the background and personally experiencing it. Yeah. Do you have any theories on, you know, 
pulling out more stories than just, you know, keywords that identify patterns? Is that what y'all are looking at, or are you looking even further into? Yeah, you know, I, I like this idea of like a dream camera, where when you're dreaming, you just pull out your dream camera and you take a picture. And I know that sounds really far out, but they're doing things um, in neuroscience where they're mapping the visual cortex. So you could actually, through some sort of signal, you could, you could map symbols. I mean, I don't think you get, get, could get clarity on what it was, but you could start to map symbols through the visual cortex of what you were actually dreaming about. It'd be interesting when you woke up, and you're, if it was already on your phone, that'd be cool. But that's down the road. <laughs> Give us like five to 10 years on that one. Yes? Uh, hi, uh, Jody. Um, since you're self-reporting your dream, not yeah. just to yourself or the person next to you in bed, yeah. Uh, do you notice any change in how your pre people are presenting their dreams or in how you are? Sort of thinking of, you know, when you post what you're doing on Facebook, there's a filter yeah. that happens. And so I'm wondering if there's any, any change in the reporting as this is now something that's shared yeah, we, we, your we, own. We thought about that a lot, and there's this concept called Heisenberg theory. So when people know that they're being watched, they behave in a different way. And so we were really conscious about how, how this would happen. Um, so uh, in the application, you can um, do, so I'll back up. So we've recorded, uh, we're in an alpha stage right now, 12 week alpha stage, we've recorded 7,000 dreams. And what we've noticed is most of those dreams are private, which is fascinating to us. That means people are really using the application and they really have a place to like, put this, this content, which may be somewhat uh, nefarious or maybe somewhat kind of controversial. So they, they actually have an outlet to, to, to put these dreams. So. We're super excited about that. I think my time's up, so um, we can continue the conversation. Yeah? Yeah. So thank you very much. And, uh, so if you text me, I can send you the application. We're in alpha now, but just shoot me a text, and um, I'll send it to you. Thank you, guys.